This is Arts in Depth on WSKG. I'm Bill Snyder. Southern Tier Active Read are presenting an immersive production of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet at the Phelps Mansion Museum. Performances are February 23rd, 24th, and 25th. March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd Friday and Saturday performances are at 7 p.m. Sunday matinees are at 2. And again, this is throughout the Phelps Mansion, which is located at 191 Court Street in Binghamton, right next to the Broome County Public Library. And my guest is director Chris Nickerson. Um, how are you doing this in in throughout the mansion? Yes, well, Bill, uh, we actually, in, in 2020, we did an immersive production of Hamlet at the Phelps. And this was basically a, a month before COVID struck. So it was very well received, and we were, we were thrilled with the whole thing, and then all of a sudden, we'd have COVID. So uh, the idea of putting people inside a room, 25 people, was not something that was going to be done for quite a while. So it sort of went on the back burner. But now we're back. Uh, people are coming back to the theater. So uh, I found this, uh, it's also, also always a, a question of what you can do as an immersive production. And uh, a lot of Shakespeare's plays deal with battles and bigger uh, events that you really couldn't do inside a mansion. So it's finding a play that would work well within the mansion. And Romeo and Juliet is a perfect choice. Uh, we have a ballroom for the ballroom scene. We have a bedroom for the bedroom scene. So uh, the audience will be moving through the mansion uh, and be right with the actors in the rooms. And there's going to be seats throughout the mansion, upstairs and downstairs, so people will be sitting through most of the production. They will have to stand for some time, but uh, most of it will be able to be, uh, you'll be able to be sitting down. So um, yeah, it was very well received last time and we're excited about getting a chance to do a, another production. I can only imagine that you're doing the battle scenes in the ballroom. Yes, <laughs> most definitely. <laughs> One of the great things about, well, Shakespeare in general, but Romeo and Juliet in the uh, in particular is it, it's Romeo and Juliet, but there's so many great minor roles in it that are very fully fleshed out. What are you able to do as far as that is concerned since you're limiting the play a little bit? Uh, yes, well, yeah, we're limiting the cast too. We're doing it with eight actors. Um, so we have char actors playing various characters. So um, we have uh, set the friar will be played uh, by different people at different times in the show. The, the uh, idea for the show is that we are a group of actors who have been hired to perform at this party at the mansion. So it's a, a setting of actors performing for an audience. So we can play with the fact that they're actors as well as their characters. So it gives us a, a, a level to play with. Um, and that makes it more fun, I think, for the audience as well to see both the actor and the character sometimes coming out of character uh, and being the actor. And yes, the fight scene, as you mentioned, will be in the ballroom. And we were lucky enough to have uh, Joshua Settlemeyer uh, be our fight choreography. So um, we've been working them kind of hard, get that right. So we're excited by that part of it too. Oh, I'll bet uh, just watching Josh stage of fight scene is entertainment in itself <laughs> true um and uh, uh so are if people are not familiar with fight choreography that's a it's a very specialized science it is yes yeah they go through some quite a bit of training before they're really able to uh to teach um uh, because there are various different kinds of weapons um uh, and there's all sorts of ways to make sure that the actors are safe Make sure that it's choreography, that nobody gets, nothing gets loose and out of control. Um, so, yeah, it, it, we're very lucky that Josh was able to help us. And speaking of people involved, we've also got some original music uh, by Jeffrey Wall that we'll be using in the ballroom dance scene. Um, and Jeffrey, as some a lot of people may recognize, is uh, he's done a lot of theater in the area, and he's currently working in cabaret out there conducting the orchestra. So we're lucky to... I was lucky to have him help us out as well. Yes, he certainly keeps busy. Uh, for people who have never read Romeo and Juliet, let alone seen it, uh, 
what makes it such an iconic play? Well, it's it's funny. I've been thinking about that recently. It's it's obviously a perfect story for Valentine's Day, a, a darker tale of Valentine's Day, where, as Shakespeare would put it, uh, true love's course never did run smooth. Um, and in this case, it does not run smooth at all. Um, but it's also interesting that it's not simply a tale of the two lovers because you have the church uh, and the character of the friar who does some things and then tries to get himself out of trouble by doing other things and ends up hmm, sort of assisting the death of these two very young people. Uh, so it's it's many layered, uh, to say the least. And also political as well. And what way would you say that? Uh, because of the, it's the two warring families. Yes. Well, you have the 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 duel of the two families. True. Uh, that always just makes me. I think of uh, more like Arkansas feudal family stuff rather than political. But uh, it's sort of the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, how how do you, how are you going to? You're limiting the audience. How, yes. How much time do you need to move from one place to another? Uh, yeah, we're definitely limiting the audience to 25 people per performance. So that keeps everybody from not being too crowded in any of the areas. Um, and our host for the production is Adara Alston. As you know, at WSKG, you're a, a recent uh, New York Emmy winner. She's going to be, uh, she will be playing the writer of the play. And she will be bringing the audience through the mansion. Um, and... Uh, Things should move fairly quickly. Um, a lot of the a lot of the scenes, like once we get upstairs, we'll just move from maybe one room to another. It won't take much time at all. There's maybe only one move up and down between the first floor and the second floor. So uh, everything moves pretty quickly once you get from one floor to the next. There's a number of scenes in each floor before you move. So it should move rather quickly. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, Opening night for sure. Once again, Southern Tier Actors Reed is presenting an immersive production of Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet in the Phelps Mansion Museum. Performances are February 23rd, 24th, and 25th. March 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Friday and Saturday performances are at 7 p.m. Sundays are at 2 p.m. throughout the Phelps Mansion, which is located at 191 Court Street, right next to the Broome County Public Library. We hope you like this video here on YouTube and will share it with your friends and family. If you'd like more information about the performance, you can go to phelpsmansion.org. And once again, my guest has been Director Chris Nickerson. Chris, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much, Bill.